Good evening, YouTube. How you doing, Verbally Vicious Nation? Sober? Not even stoned yet. I will be drinking and smoking and doing all sort of fun things later because it is Sunday and tonight is the Willie's Loose Cannon Comedy Show. I'm going to keep it slightly serious, maybe a little funny, but as you see in the title, tonight is the night. It's two days before election. I think everyone should know. Let's cut all the bullshit. Let's cut all the lies. Let's cut all the rumors. Let's discuss why Verbally Vicious Nation, consisting of Kevin Kraft, Daryl Horner, Josh Denny, and our fucking huge pack of family out there have chosen to vote for Barack Obama instead of John McCain. First of all, let's cut all the bullshit. Let's cut all the lies. John McCain has never been recorded calling his wife a cunt. Sarah Palin is not the grandmother of Trigg. Barack Obama is not a Muslim. But here's the thing. Even if he were a Muslim, so what? What is... What if Christians are the... Ca George W. Bush Jr. is the most zealot Christian we've ever seen in the White House. And how has that worked out? But I'm going to discuss with you why not just myself, who used to vote towards the right, but the fiscal right, the, the type of Republican who was tighter with the pocketbook, but made small government and stayed out of your bedroom and let you suck on whatever you wanted to suck on, whether it was a titty or a dick. Let's talk about why people like myself have flipped over to the side of Barack Obama. Let's talk about why Colin Powell did it. Let's talk about who was the Secretary of State. Let's talk about why W. Jr.'s own press secretary is now on the side of Barack Obama. Let's talk about why major Republican pundits in Washington are on his side. Because there is no more Republican Party. There are a small amount of people who still see small government small enough to stay out of your house to make roads and defend this country. There is that small amount, but the rest of that party has been hijacked by religious zealots. Let's talk about the differences and why I'm voting how I'm voting. Number one, the rights of women. I used to think John McCain was cool, and now he's throwing the woman on the ticket, and they plan to pull the female vote. Let me share something with you females. You heard of something called Roe versus Wade? Well, you can kiss that goodbye. You can kiss the rights to your uterus goodbye. They've made up terms like partial birth abortion. There's no such animal as partial birth abortion. There's no record of any woman choosing, not because of not health or in danger of her own life, but just at seven months to nine months pregnant going, fuck it, I don't want this baby, get it out of me. Look at me. Not one documented case, all right? Not one. Since the day Roe versus Wade was passed. So get over that shit. And secondly, even though it is mostly men who run this country, women run their uterus. It is not my place to tell them what to do with it. And Barack and look, being pro-choice is not being anti-life. I don't think anyone should have an abortion, personally. But I personally don't have a uterus. So at the end of the day, it's not my choice. Secondly, gun control. People think Obama's going to have all the guns removed from your house. Absolutely not true. Any normal, rational human shouldn't have a problem with the five, six, seven day, whatever waiting period it is to fucking purchase that handgun or that hunting rifle, high powered hunting rifle. Only difference is that there's just, it's against the law to have a fully automatic fucking AK 47 in your house. Not under McCain. They'll be readily available, and it is the criminals who get a hold of them first. There's a reason why criminals don't have AKs. It's because people who are legal don't have AKs. I'd like to keep it that way. I wrote down a few things to check out here. And the other one, the backdoor draft, guys. If you think that we're not in a poor person draft right now, you're out of your mind. And under the, under the McCain regime, it would remain the same. Poor people being suckered into joining the military and then not being allowed out. If we're going to have a war, there should be a draft. Because someone who's poor should have the same chance of not being sent to the front lines as someone who's rich. Every person, no matter their color, their background, their creed, their sexual orientation, or how much money's in their wallet, should have the same chance and opportunity to defend this country. I'm voting for Barack Obama because also you can call me a socialist all you want, but he believes in socialized medicine. I love a country where people are losing their shit, even though our military is socialized. Our fire department is socialized. Our police department is socialized. Our post office is socialized. The last time the airlines actually worked, they were socialized. You notice they don't work anymore. 
So what is the problem with socializing medicine? What is the problem with living in a country that says, be you young, be you old, be you rich, be you poor? If we do nothing else for you, we'd like to make sure you have some modicum of peace and pain-free life. If that's socialist, then we better bomb Canada because it's been a successful program there for a number of years. These are the reasons I'm voting for Barack Obama. There are no more true Republicans on this ticket. There are true Republicans out there. Ron Paul was a true Republican. The right didn't give a fuck about him because he wanted to shrink government. People say Democrats are big government. 40% increase in size. That's what this government has seen under Republican power. Under Demo Previously controlled by the Democrats and Bill Clinton, the government was downsized and the budget was balanced. We now go into 2009 with the largest deficit in the history of this country brought to you by W. Jr. and the man who voted for all of his bills more than 90% of the time. Barack Obama voted against George Bush when it was not cool to vote against him. He voted against him when I thought it was a mistake to vote against him and showed his political prowess by proving me wrong. And that is why I endorse Barack Obama. That is why on Tuesday, this country needs to endorse Barack Obama. And most importantly, you may not think that it's true, but we have developed a reputation in this country throughout the world, and I know a lot of people will watch, I don't give a fuck what France thinks about us, motherfucker, fuck Italy, motherfucker, fuck Germany. Well, we are a one world, one nation planet now. What is wrong with getting along with other countries, and the fact of the matter is, is W has done more to fucking make us look like shit than anybody in the history of this country, and I think that electing a man named Barack Hussein Obama, who has skin color that doesn't match the rest of this country, would let the world know, maybe we don't have our heads as far up our asses as they think we do. And that's why I endorse Barack Obama. It's that simple. I'm going to leave you today with this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we won't be doing the show with the uh, from uh, Blog TV tonight because, once again, Kevin Kraft is not answering his phone. If any of you see him, please tell him to call me. <laughs> Secondly, I did, become, I did inherit a major booking agency as of a few minutes ago. All the listings have come in, hundreds of listings. These rooms will be open throughout the country. You will see me throughout the country. Thirdly, and I know I touch on it, according to some people, too often, but... Seven death threats in the last 48 hours. These will be forwarded to YouTube. These will be forwarded to the proper authorities. Motherfuckers saying they're going to come to my house and kill me because I am a nigger-loving, sellout, wigger bitch who is a disgrace to this race. We don't know whether it was intended for this house last night or not, but a large caliber handgun was emptied in the street in front of our house. Guess what? The cops got him. So to all you Aryan user 88s and all you motherfuckers who continue to put shit on my page talking about how badass you are, show your face. You're despicable, you're the scum of the fucking earth, and you are not long for this world because as much hate and race as you may be filled with, you lack one thing. Intellect. Actually, two things. Intellect and teeth. You lack both of those. While I was in school getting my education, learning to speak and type correctly, you were at rallies going, fuck the Jew, fuck the nigger, fuck them all, we rule. How are you going to keep everybody white? You're going to keep fucking your sister, Floyd? Will you do that? You sit down there in Arkansas and you sit wherever else you live and you continue to fuck your relatives while the rest of the world passes you by. Hitler had millions of men behind him and the world still squashed him. There are but dozens of you, and you're not nearly as intelligent as his regime was. What do you think you're going to succeed doing? So to you, I say this. On Tuesday, you are persona non grata. Your time is done. And the time for a liberal tax and spend, make old people feel better with medical coverage come country, steps forward. Your time has passed, you clan motherfuckers. It died with Governor George Wallace. It died when David Duke got plastic surgery. And it'll die with the rest of you. So to the Aryan nation, I say, fuck you. Fuck you in the ass. Come to Minneapolis and find me. My name is Daryl Horner. And I approved this message. Love, peace, hair grease. Barack Obama, 2008.
2008-2016. See you on Tuesday at DePaul.